Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on how to register for an event, check in for an event, and inputting scores. We will also briefly cover other aspects of an event as well. We start at your main profile page, and we head to the Organizations Hub by clicking My Organizations and selecting the appropriate one. Here we can see some active hosting events, and to see all of them, click Show All. Scroll through this page to find your desired event to register for. On the events page, there is a green register button on the right of the screen. Once clicked, this page will display to join a new team. Click Continue. After that, you'll see a screen with your name already checked and a search bar. This bar is for adding players to your team roster if your event requires more players on a team. Since we don't, click Submit. Next, you will see where your name, where you name your team and abbreviation. You can also select your team color. Colors can be saved as custom in the system so it's easy to select in the future. When complete, click Done. Some events may require you to connect your gaming account in order to complete registration. If they do, this is a screen that will appear next. Click here. You'll be brought to this page to connect your account. Find the correct account you need to connect and select it. You then fill out the information here and click proceed. Once complete, your registration is complete. Next we will quickly go over what it looks like when you do not have to connect an account. Here we are back on the events screen and we select the event we'd like to join. Again we click register on the right and hit continue to join a new team. We create our team name and abbreviation, select our color, and click done. When you do not have to connect an account, you have completed registering once you click Done. You are now registered for this event. Next we will go through how to check in for your scheduled games and how to input your score of a contest. We will also briefly go through some of the other features on the events page as well. Here we are on the main page for the event. To see all matchups, you can click matchups on the left of the screen. Here you will see the bracket or brackets depending on the type of tournament. To go to your scheduled game, click your matchup. This screen will appear and click the lower rectangle. Next you'll be brought to the game page and you can forfeit on this page if you need to, but we don't, so let's go ahead and check in. Scroll down until you see a green check in button and click it. If you see a blue add button, Select that first and add who will be playing in the game for your roster. Once you have done this, then the green check-in button will appear. Please note that for any event where a team is required, you will need to select all the players that will compete in that game when adding players. Once checked in, you'll see at the top that you're all set. If you go to another matchup, you will notice that you do not have the ability to check people in since it is not your team. Back on your matchup page, you can enter in the score for both you and your opponent, then click Submit. However, note that you will not be able to submit your score until the game start time has hit. Here you'll see it says 2pm, so it must be at least 2pm for us to submit the score. While we wait on that, you can see the entire schedule by clicking Schedule on the left. It will bring you to a monthly view, but you can select week or day in the top right to get a closer look. Here you can see all scheduled games, most are currently TBD. 
You can also see all participants for the event by clicking the Participants button on the left. You can also see the standings for the event, where it has the records for all the participants. You can manage your roster by clicking Manage My Roster in gold on the left. Here you can see your roster settings and click Roster Users and invite people here to join. To head back to the event page, simply click Overview on the top left. Alright, our time has come to enter our score. Here we are back on the game page. We enter our scores in for the contest and then hit Submit Scores. Sometimes you will get a message that the score wasn't put in. Please refresh your page first and make sure it has not been saved in the system before you re-enter the scores. Once the score is in the bracket, once the score is in, the bracket will automatically update, placing the winner into the next round. Here we have a double elimination tournament, so the losers of the game were moved into the losers bracket. You continue this process throughout the remaining of the tournament. Thank you for watching. Best of luck in all your upcoming games and matches. And please let us know if you have any questions either in our Discord or via email at intramurals at vcu.edu.